I had I had a a um a bread of turkey a a ranch and then that's a, bread. a weird combination. Oh, yeah. I just so, had pancakes. No one okay, this is the Live and Buy show. I'm Maya and I'm Sean. Find out about a new Black Ops 4 video game. Are teens using their phones too much? Find out about what was sizzling at at this weekend's I Heart Radio Fiesta Latina. Find out, find out about some sports and the latest games on your favorite teams. All this and more right after the break. I am Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. We are Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. I am We're back. Now it's time to check out what's going on around campus. Hey sports fans, remember the last game for the boys basketball and the girls volleyball team is today at 3 o'clock. We're playing a home game versus Carmenita. That wraps it up for the Tetzloff play-by-play. Hang, hang out for a while. We'll be back in a flash. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I can't even do my work. Oh, gotta try. Yeah, that's mine. Get your own snacks. But I only got a dollar. I can't buy any cup noodle. Well, it goes to the studio store for five. These are only fifty cents. Five minutes later. Yes, now I can finish my work. 
Yes! Welcome back. Time to get into today's hot topic. Disney has created a new live action movie, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. The Nutcracker was originally a ballet dance which many people loved. Disney decided to make a live action movie which excited many more. This movie stars Kira Knightley, Mackenzie Foy, Helen Mirren, and Morgan Freeman. This film came out on November 2nd. See you in the theaters. According to Pew Research Center survey, more than half of teens think they use their phones too much. Studies show that doctors and parents worry that phones, tablets, and any other electronics can affect social skills. Teens have been wasting time by binge watching Netflix or YouTube. They are mostly playing games and or checking social media. Even some parents admit to using their phones too much. Okay, you heard it here with Sai and Shy. And welcome back to another You Heard It Here. Find out about Find out about the the lady who had no ideas at all in her head and suddenly she just became a celebrity in a different country. Have you, had, have you ever had that feeling where you had nothing to write but you just come up with like random ideas? Have you? No, I, I think I have one time. Well, like when Miss Anderson gives you these interesting narrative writing prompts, but there's tumbleweed, there's like a tumbleweed going. Yeah, going exactly, yeah. That was what was happening to Aaron Shack, a writer for BuzzFeed. She didn't want to waste an entire work day, so she thought of random things. What do I have for, bre for breakfast this, this, this morning? Oatmeal. Okay, let's write about oatmeal. Who wants to hear about oatmeal? Ooh, uh, elderly people. Who are some elderly people I know? Um, my Maltese grandpa, she thought. So she began searching up Malta, and it was super beautiful. You, you, you know, not dark and dreary like the rest of Europe. She decided to write about it as soon after, as soon after she went to sleep, and forgot all about it. The next morning, the floor was flooded with all types of mail and notifications from her phone. Well, see, Malta doesn't usually get written about a lot, so the citizens of Malta were overjoyed, like winning the Super Bowl. She even got in the National Malta newspaper. She decided to let it go, and eventually it did, until she w visited Italy. And guess what county was close by Malta? A flight to Malta was only 25 bucks, almost as much as a McDonald's. And the speaker and figure nobody will remember her. She of course contacted the guy who started the, the GoFundMe page, and they had lunch. He suddenly looked up and put his fork down. He asked, have you ever searched up my name? Uh, no, why, she said. So he looked her up for a walk. We'll report to you more about this story, but now on to sports. Hey guys, welcome to Sports in the Live and Five Show. Let's start off with some football. All right, so on Monday, 28 to 14, Titans won. Um, I'm low-key surprised that the Titans won because, I mean, it's the Titans. And I figured the Cowboys were going to win, but I guess the Cowboys are trash. 
Um, tomorrow, we have the Panthers and Sailors, and that is going to be a good game. Now, let's head over to soccer. Today, we're soccer on Monday. Game on, the Brazilian professional soccer player who plays for a forward was hurt from his former teammate, Martin Montoya, that Neymar wants to return to Barcelona. What do you guys think about this? Um, I think it's a good move, because if he goes back, then it's going to be Suarez and Messi and Neymar again. Yeah. <laughs> Going over to basketball, we're going to be talking about some of your favorite teams and their scores. Starting with the Hawks, they played the Hornets, and they lost 102 to 113. Then going over to the Wizards and the Mavericks, the Wizards lost 100 to 119. And then the Nets, the Nets won 104 to 82 against the Suns. And the final game was the Trailblazers, who beat the Bucks 118 to 103. How you guys feel about the last game? Um, I'm actually excited that the Trailblazers beat the Bucks because, you know, the Bucks. my favorite team. Oh, like Damian Lillard. The Bucks are trash, though. I know the Bucks are the Bucks very, never. very trash. They're horrible. Yeah. All right. So, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. to pack up everything and move on foot to a new country. On October 12th in the city of San Pedro Sula, a group of, a group of 160 people left their home country of Honduras waiting to see Aslam in the U.S. About 1,000 Hondurans have joined the caravan, hoping to escape their lives of poverty and crimes. Since crossing through Guatemala and Mexico, thousands of others have joined the way. Due to the caravan of mig migrants, it has caused a heated debate of whether or not to let them through our borders. Some say that we should because these people deserve a chance for a better life. However, some say that if we allow these people in the U.S., then we are throwing away rules and laws to make sure that this situation doesn't happen and that there's no point in having visas or following the countless rules and laws set up for immigration purposes. But no matter what, the, ca the caravan is on their way to the U.S. and they are hoping for a better life instead of lives of poverty and crime they had in Honduras. That's so crazy how they <clears throat> walked here. Yeah, like they, they had to walk a really long way, but so, some people feel like they shouldn't. Yeah. The trip was pointless and they should have gone, stayed in where they were at instead of going here. Because yeah, they some, might not let them in. But I feel like they should let them in because they deserve a better life from like their poorness and yeah, they can start a whole new life here. So now it's time to check out today's FYI. What is a baby spider called? A spidling, a spiderling, a spider kid, or a spider? Take five. Mm. A baby spider is called a spiderling. Now it's time for DYK. <laughs> hey, good morning, Tesla Trojans. And today, I Miles, so M Miles, how's your morning today? It is going great so far. And with you guys? I I'm doing great. I'm doing great So, uh, I meant to ask, uh, what's your talent? My talent is called Cats to Me. Can't be my can be other cats as well. For some reason, cats just love me, so yeah. And they just love you? They like just love me by cuddling getting on my legs uh -huh. and you know just just purring and not scratching me and me beating me up <laughs> so beating you up where you, they you they you when you just call them they they just to you. They that's just, it they just they wait and see if i'm friendly and then they just go on my legs and how how long, so happy. how long has this been? since i was three wow so that's cool that's cool well, uh, that's all we have today, and we'll 
see you back here tomorrow.